Welcome back, everybody. We are back in Dead Side at our awesome crate. So let's see. We probably need. Oh, we need to check if there's. Oh, we don't really need to check, but is there no open world vendor? We don't really need anything either. Wait, there's epic, hard, medium, epic up there. I kind of want to do that, but I don't think we have time to get there. So we have, there's also a hard mission there now. Uh, we do need to see if we can get another backpack too. Okay, we got so much crap now. We are starting to need the vendor, but we can only use the uh, open world one. Something like that. And we should be good to go. So, let's see. There's an epic there. Do we just run straight for the epic? I mean, there's nothing else really nearby. I don't think we have time to reach that one. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can reach that hard mission. We've done the missions on the docks so many times now. So, we should actually try and do, <laughs> do something else. Some other mission. But it is a bit of a run. I really wish they had some sort of indicator on the missions of how long they were going to stay there. Either by you hovering over with your mouse and it tells you or some sort of other indication. Just something. Small indication of something. It's going to be interesting to see how vehicles will change up the game. I, to be honest, I mean... Don't get me wrong. Getting the vehicles is an awesome addition to the game. It's going to add a lot of stuff to do because you probably have to gather the resources and quote unquote craft the vehicles, at least fix them up and shit like that. And it's going to be really cool. But I don't think I don't think vehicles are what's going to I don't know how to put it. I don't really think vehicles are the. S can't see. Say, see. I can't. Well, I can't see. But I don't think vehicles is what this game needs the most, is probably the right way to put it. Because adding vehicles won't change the core game loop that's currently in the game, or lack thereof. You know? Like, for us in this situation, if we had a vehicle, sure, we could drive up here. But that mission may still disappear as soon as we get there. Because we don't know how long this has been on the map. We don't know how long this is going to stay on the map. If we had a vehicle and we drove towards the mission, it will get us there faster, sure. But the mission would still just disappear if the timer ran out and we wouldn't know that. You know, so vehicles are not going to add to that. Same goes with driving across the map. If you want, if we wanted to reach this same issue, we could drive the vehicle all the way up there just to get maybe halfway and the mission is mission is gone. So vehicles aren't going to add to that. It's going to add like an it's a really nice quality of life feature for sure. Be able to drive around and by the preview video they put out, you can run them over. It's going to be interesting to see how much damage your vehicle takes when you run NPCs over. Because the convoy usually walks on the road and usually in the middle of the road. So it would be pretty easy to just run them over. I mean, are they changing the convoys to make it to make the convoys more resilient? Or whatever two vehicles how are they dealing with that it's gonna be really interesting to see for sure but adding adding like a transportation it's not gonna it's not changing the the game loop there kind of is no yeah, yeah i don't know i mean i'm just rambling but I feel like there's a lot of people like, oh, vehicle is going to be the saving grace or whatever for this game. It's going to bring back all the players. It's going to be so awesome, awesome and uh, epic and uh, everything. But it's kind of not. 
be honest. Oh, hello. Let's try and pay some attention here. get on the other side of the fence. Okay, we got that dude. We're in a bad spot here. We are kind of in a bad spot. Ah! Wait. Excess fire rate. Not crouch. Yeah, we need to deal with that sniper. But there's someone else on the other side here. See in in case inside here. There's one. See pushing down, maybe, maybe, maybe. See, these are the cars. So you probably have to fix them up. And how many cars can they be on the server at one time? What's the limit? You know, what's the balance between motorbikes and and vehicle and cars? I mean, some servers have 25, 30, 50 players. Can all 50 players have their own bike? You know what's the what's the limit gonna be? Is there a dude up there? Or is he Yeah Did we Where's my mouse? Where is my mouse? Okay, so there's still peeps there. Oh hello. Yeah, I think he's above me in the tower. That does not Okay. Oh, that's too high. Oh, come on. There we go. Are these other... Dudes just... So, there's... A bunch up there. Thing. How? Oh, come on. Kind of wasting bullets. The dude above me is like, what the frick is going on? 
Oh, that's... Oh! I kind of missed the VSD with 10 rounds. Okay, so it got really quiet up there. And there's that one dude running around. Is he running down here? I haven't seen anyone over there. And there is the dude above us. Let's see if we can get some ammo from these guys. Give me oh, I could almost see him. There we go. Wait, did I? Okay, so, and there's that one dude. Let's see if we can spot him from up here. I was in 100, 300, 2, 100, 300, 3. Oh, thank you. Just what we needed. It's too high. Okay. So there's probably someone hiding somewhere. Can't blame him though for hiding. I mean, you're just going about your day, doing your stuff, and somebody comes shoot up your workplace. Grabbing some ammunition. So we probably have to go through the buildings, I guess. But I heard something in here. Dead. Ow! No, no, no. Didn't. I don't think I killed him. Oh, oh we did get him. Let's see, I don't really hear anyone else around here in these parts. I think they would have pushed me if they were close by. Unless they're stuck in a building. Where is this dude hiding? There he was. Of course he was there. Of course he was. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, no. Let's see. Do we have rewards? All the way over there. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Just a hard mission, though. What do we have here? We got a two AR-4s. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. And we got a muscle break for that one. We got more ammunition. Oh, we're really starting to strong. We need a vendor. So this one is 34, 125, 230. This one is, yeah. So their buy rate is 625 versus 650. So it's slightly better. So maybe we'll keep one. But the thing with these DAKs is that that's what they mostly use. So it's so much easier to get ammo. But okay. We got this done. There's an epic up there, but I kind of want to... Oh, he's all the way there. Can we get a boat, maybe? And get to him? Because we need to clear out the inventory. We also need to pick up stuff from our crate. So, yeah. I was ranting about vehicles. And, yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. I talked about it a bunch. I mean, I kind of feel like if they added the trains, like maybe a couple of trains going the opposite direction across the map at various intervals and shit like that, would be more in line with 
the game because they could add a lot of game gameplay loop to that like you have to capture the train and stuff like that but yeah and i know i keep ranting a shit ton about the game but i love it i just want the game to be as best as it can be and i know there's a lot of a lot of people waiting for vehicles but as i said i don't think vehicles is gonna be the quote-unquote saving grace for this game it's people are gonna try it out it's gonna be fun then after a couple of days or whatever after a short while the game is still the game with the lack thereof content vehicles won't change that you can do a ton of cool stuff with vehicles for sure i'm not making that argument at all you can have races you can have scavenger hunts with the warriors vehicles and stuff like that and that's gonna be pretty cool it's a great addition in that re in regards to that it's a great quality of life update but in my humble op opinion that's not really what the game needs the game needs more game i feel like but that's just my thoughts about it i mean they could add airplanes and helicopters and fucking a shit ton of cool stuff but it's only gonna be fun to mess around with for a short while and people are okay that was fun now what and just quit and off to the next one there's nothing really to sustain a larger player base i feel like see i'm i'm here making up rules and shits and I see other content creators also doing that, but it shouldn't be like that. We should have tasks and missions, and we're getting the the we're getting to level up vendors, and that's a step in the right direction for sure. I just hope they do more with that. We need to do more concrete task or quests. Not just bring back scrap metal because that has nothing to do with being challenging nothing to do with you being skillful at the game nothing like that at all it's just go around find scrap and you level up the vendor i want the game to test my skills to push me to become better at the game but running around gathering scraps is not gonna do uh, do that at least not for me Let's see if we can sell this ba -ba 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 -ba. and let's see if we can get a boat by the by down here but yeah here we are here we are i mean i'm i know i know the devs are probably doing as best as they can for sure it's a small team but it's kind of i just want to know what their vision for this game is what are their future plan what are the end game for them what is like version 1.0 what is that looking like for the developers i wish really wish they had a roadmap that they communicated more about future plans other than the vehicles the base building stuff and stuff like that i would like let me show me more into the future what you're thinking about doing where the fuck are we okay we're almost running in the right direction it would have been really great if they were more transparent i guess but i mean they don't have to they can do whatever they want i just wish that they were i know you know what i mean because as i've stated over and over and over and over this game is so freaking awesome that's why i keep playing it it's so cool even if we do a bunch of server jumping because that's to me the fun part leveling up getting gear doing the missions because that kind of tests my my skills it makes me become better at the game there's really not i'm not that into base buildings is that a big plastic bottle yes sir no boat though yeah let's 
get up to the boathouse here and see if we got a boat up there. But yeah, this game is... it's... Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought again. It's so unique. It's so easy to get into. It's nothing complicated. It runs good. It looks good. It plays good. It's such a cool and great, unique game. You can play it however you want. You can deep dive into it. Or you can play it casually. It's really freaking awesome game. But it's kind of lacking lacking a couple of ingredients. So that's why I really wish they were more transparent with their future plans and uh, stuff like that. Because I really think Deadside has a bright future. I really do. And I hope they know that. They probably do. They know what they got. But it would be awesome to to just know what they were thinking about uh, the future of the game. Because currently it seems kind of... I feel like their priorities are not right. I mean, I don't have any right to say what they should or shouldn't do at all. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying. I'm not on their team or anything. I don't have anything to do with whatever they do to the game. And they are very much free to do whatever they do. I'm just speaking of what it feels like to me, what I wish they did. And I kind of feel like they're doing the wrong priorities. It kind of feels like in by putting vehicles so high up on the list, kind of feels like they're catering to a smaller part of the community who feels like that's gonna save their game or whatever, or lack of words. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Because people are complaining that, oh, it's so boring to run around and stuff like that. We need vehicles. What are running out? Same with the one over here then, I guess. You know, but yeah. Oh, this one is actually not empty. But yeah, it kind of... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to... Ah! No, switch to the gun. Can I just fill water? No. Don't hear anyone else. Never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I know? I'm just an old gamer playing games. Just an old gamer. Let's see if I can press the right keys and stuff. That surely helps. Okay. There we go. We take out. Do we even bother? I don't think we do. Let's see. Did the trader move, maybe? No. We just packed up and left. But we got a boat here. So let's see if we can uh, be ready if he or when he pops back up. Okay, so now we're basically just waiting for an open world vendor to show up. But yeah, what do you, what do you think? Am I like the only one who thinks things like this? I, I might be. I might be a dumbass. Well, I know I'm a dumbass. But what are your thoughts about the future of the game? Just um, really interesting to hear what other people think about the game. And going through Steam and Reddit is a fucking cesspool of... Reddit is not so bad, but Steam is like, oh my god. But please leave a comment. Am I wrong? Am I just far out there? I might be. And what are your thoughts about about the game? What do you want to see? What do you think can bring players back to the game? What is like the missing the missing pieces for this to be freaking awesome? More awesome in there than it already is. Because it is pretty awesome. It is a pretty cool game. We wouldn't be playing it otherwise. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. No wonder we need to take on the convoy soon too. See, imagine if they used like the train, the train tracks. That would be so cool. If there were trains 
going around. Because they go around the whole map. That would be pretty pretty awesome. And I'm I'm guessing that would be so let's say trains and motorbikes. I don't know. But I really hope they do a good job with the vehicles. I do. I know I, I bitch a lot about it, but I just want them to add more game to the game. Because this mission once they open up this area and we get missions here, that's gonna be pretty cool. You can do drag races on the runway. And vehicles are gonna bring some incentive for players to make up their own stuff. Like scavenger hunts, races, and stuff like that. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because this is really all there is. You can build bases, gather resources, build bases. You do the missions over and over and over and over again. At a certain point, only hard and epic missions are likely worth it. Gather resources, you build, you do the convoy, you do the helicopter crashes to get better gear. Once you got the top gear in the game, you don't really need to do that anymore. You don't really need to do the missions. Once you have built your base, and that one is pretty, pretty awesome as you want it to be, then there's not really more to do. I mean, there is PvP, but... I'm not into PvP in this game, with all the cheaters and all the griefers and team killings and all of that good stuff. Yeah, I'd, I'm gonna take a pass on that. So what else is there to do? They're adding base maintenance. That's a nice quality of life feature, gives you something more to do. They're adding the leveling up of vendors to hide the high tier gear behind that at the vendors. That's okay, I guess, but just by giving the vendor scrap, okay. I mean, sure, it's a step in the right direction, but make make it so that we have to do something else, like complete four hard missions. It could be tasks or quests like that, and they can tie some lore into it. it could be easy, go fetch items tasks. Transport from one safe zone up to the other. I mean, there's a lot of stuff they can do with leveling up the vendors and they giving you tasks. Would I really feel like that would make the game more sustainable in the long run. Okay, I'm gonna drive out here. At least. Come on. I know you can do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 we whoa. That was so laggy. And we are going to stay here in safety. But yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, we all love the game. At least most, most of us do. I don't think that there's too many people playing this game hating it. And we probably just want what's, what we feel like is the best for the game. That's why I'm, I keep ranting. That's why the rants, cause it's a great game. Just want it to be more. Get me hooked on it. Well, get me more hooked on it. Wonder what this is supposed to be. Are they going to add like an island here? That would be cool. Or has there been an island here previously? I do not know. So they are going, are they going all the way around? This area too. It This is huge. This is gonna be awesome. There's like one road up here. And we got this area here. There's probably gonna be outposts and stuff. Some bunker areas inside the mountain here, I guess, or hangars. Awesome. Can't wait for this area to open up. And the rest of this. I hope they add like another another big city like Kamensk. Maybe add some some faction warfare and stuff like that. That would be cool. The different bandits fighting the fighting the military guys. That would be super cool. You're doing a mission and suddenly let's say you're doing an easy or well maybe not easy, but you're doing a medium and hard mission. And suddenly a patrol of military dudes just shows up. Or you're doing an epic mission here and a gang of Bandits starts to intervene. Point being, the game has so much unused potential. 
So we'll see. We will see. But this is going to be a blast to explore. That's for sure. Would be nice if they talked about it. Put out a roadmap as we talked about. Server will restart in an hour. Do we get the vendor before that? Is the question. That is the question. But it's going to be interesting to see how the, the convoy deals with the vehicle. Because if you can just take a vehicle and run the convoy over, I mean, then this is no fun anymore. So maybe, maybe they got an RPG or something. Damn, that would be cool. But we will see. We will see. And maybe they could add some more animals. We have wolves and deers, but maybe some random spawns of bears and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. I mean, there's so much they can do. Okay, so I have been sitting here enjoying the calmness of the seas for over half an hour now, waiting for the open world vendor to not show up. And the server is going to restart in about 20 minutes. So I'm uh, going to head back to the crates and put our shit there. With our luck, the open world trader is going to spawn as soon as we get back here. Let's head back and uh, yeah. Perfect. Just park it here. Yeah, that really sucks though. I kind of wanted to get rid of stuff. But it is what it is, so we'll have to try again uh, next time, I guess. Because I don't want to run around with all this crap on me. So I'm going to run back and put it back into... Oh my god, a storage crate. It's so full. Maybe we... I'm just waiting for the notification for new trader available. 20 minutes to restart. But yeah, this episode hasn't been too exciting at all. It's been more ranting than shooting. That's a title right there. But sometimes we gotta rant about shit. And I tend to rant a whole lot about this game. Because it's such a great game and I just want it to be better. But I really wonder what the respawn or the spawn rate is on the Wandering Trader, the open world one. Because it's been about an hour at least since he was last on the map. So is it once an hour, every couple hours? I don't know. But we can't really place anything here. We can probably sell that too, thinking about it like that. Do we have? No, we don't. So I'm guessing we'll have to visit the trader in the next episode. Because this is going to be it for this one. If you made it this far, that's pretty cool. Thank you. And a thumbs up really helps with the algorithm. So that is appreciated and I will catch you in the next one.